Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial and today in this episode we're going to continue with our Ford GT here. We've got the whole kind of base mesh looking really nice, we're looking good inside here. I'm quite happy with how it's looking so far. Um, there's a bit I forgot back here which we need to probably add first and it's kind of um, in this area. It's hard to really see on anything. Um, maybe, maybe isolate inside here. Um, let me just real quick, I'm just going to bring that up to maybe about here, just to kind of hide all the other mesh. Um, so we can kind of see that it runs about here. So we've got this little kind of indentation uh, that runs along the back of the car over on this side. So what we're going to want to do is probably a little bit of extruding. Um, so we kind of wanted to start down here. So we see where we have the kind of connected point over here. But the problem is, is if we go down on our side view here, we don't actually see it on here. Um, when I look in the reference images, it looks like it's just quite a thin portion that kind of comes from, st starts potentially from about this point. So let's go and um, add on our edge slide real quick. And I'm going to pull this up to something like that. Like that there. And then I think what I want to do is I'm going to want to maybe take this and come around here with that. So I'm thinking that that looks like it's the roof orientation um, that we kind of want to look at. What we could maybe do is maybe take that one down there now instead. Try and get rid of that in there. And then it looks like what we're probably going to want to do is take these here. Let me take my edge off. And we want to pull those down. Something like that. And then it gets gradually less as we go around. So then we want it just to be something like that. Okay. Um, another thing I was thinking of adding was um, an edge loop, maybe down here. Let's just bring that all the way through. And then we'll go around the corner with this. So I was thinking about adding that because it's going to allow us to um, make this a little circular. So I could pull that back a little bit and that's going to help kind of create that little circular element to that rear portion for us, um, which is what we're going to want for our, um, our tail light to go inside there. We could do two, so we could grab all of this for example. Um, let me just do a quick test if I'm going to just um, edit the edge flow. No, that's going to look terrible. Um, we could do a bevel here. Just to add a little bit more to it. Make it a little bit softer on that side too. But I don't think we need to. I think the one should be fine. Um, what I will want to do is just make sure everything running down here is fairly nice and uniform. I'm going to do that with my edge slide on. So I want that line, for example, to be you know, fairly straight as it comes down. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so I think we're looking good there for the most part then for our mesh. Um, if I do hit three can see we do have a little bit of a, a, a kick in that side there, which is exactly what we want. So I think we're fairly happy with that. What we could do next is maybe think about some of the extra components. We do have some 
mesh inside here. And what's quite nice about this car is it's just fairly standard basic um, honeycomb. It's nothing uh, too crazy. Um, so we could create a little bit of that. Um, let's maybe do that, yeah. Let's go and bring in a plane here. I'm just going to increase that in size. Let's move this over here. And I'm going to go for edges. I'm going to select all of these edges here. I'm going to skip two, and then select all of these ones, and then skip two and grab these. I'll just turn this off, get rid of that. Um, I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, and we'll hit Bevel. And I'm going to crank the fractions all the way up to one. And grab all of these. Um, we actually, I'll grab all of these inner one first, just hitting delete. And all of these ones in the center, I'm going to hold down control and hit delete. I'm just going to do a test. So if this happens, it means something has gone wrong in the bevel. So we can see that we've got all these multiple faces here. So if this happens, something's gone wrong. So we're going to need to just delete and rebuild. So I'll just rebuild that real quick um, and then I'll pause the video. Okay, so we're back. Um, a good tell, I, I, I don't. I honestly, in Maya, I don't know why it does it. If you're using a different kind of software to do the, um, the same kind of thing, it might do it a little bit different. But basically, if you follow that exact same process again, so I just selected one, skip two, selected, skip two, selected, and so on. Um, even if you do that as you run down, um, when it comes to selecting these edges that are inside part of this kind of honeycomb bit, if it comes up where you can only select one at a time, then it's done it correctly. If it's coming up that you double click, um, then it's not going to have done it correctly. So I'm going to grab all of these here and hit delete and then grab all of these here. Hit delete on those. Oops. Let's just see. So we see now that all the faces that I'm selecting here are individual um, rather than multiple. So let's do the same down here. And again, I'm not sure if that's a bug in Maya or what, but um, it's just a little bit weird. Just gonna get rid of all these individual. Okay, so we can see now that when we select these, we're selecting all the individual ones, so we know that it's working fine. You guys may not have had that problem, but I have it. I would say, you know, not every time I do it, but maybe every first time that I do it, uh, kind of bugs out for some reason. Okay, so we've got all these inside here. What we want to do with this is we're gonna want to find. Maybe the largest area, so we can see that we've got quite a lot of honeycomb down there. Let's check the rear. Um, got multiple fronts in there for some reason. Um, we've got much smaller um, honeycomb there, and then obviously we've got the, um, the side here where we'll have some, which again looks like it's going to be a little bit smaller. Before we do anything, it looks like I might have actually brought that too far forward on my one. So I actually want that to go behind here. I can get a, an angle to see this. So I want that to be tucked behind instead. See, maybe not that far, maybe more like that. Let me grab this central piece here. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, so we're gonna maybe then align this up to the front. So let's move this into position here. Let's get this rotated around. 
And then I'm going to get this lined up. Let me just center my pivot here. And what I'm also going to do with this, um, let me just get rid of X-ray real quick. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to hold down face and I'm just going to delete that group of faces there because we want to have large and then onto small, it'll be much easier to, stick to, uh, to stitch together. And let's reduce this down. I'm wanting this to be roughly the same size. And then we want to double check that vertically as well because it could be that it does look like even though these are the roughly the correct width, I think I want to go a little bit taller. Okay, so something like that's not looking too bad. Okay, and then it looks like as well that what is quite nice is that it looks like that's probably not going to need to be any taller for us. Um, it looks like that should be okay because we do have that extra little bit of trim that's going to go inside there as well. So let's maybe just hit Control D on that. I'm going to move that over to the side because it's always nice to keep um, to keep one of them. I think what we might want to do is we are going to have that bit at the side, so we might want to make um, another bit kind of separately, like a vertical version. Um, so let's maybe double the width first. So I'm just going to hit Control D. And let's go into our front view. I'm just going to hit Control D. I'm going to hold down D and V on my keyboard. I'm going to snap the pivot into one of these edge points. I'm going to hold down V and then just move that across so it's all part of the same one. Let's combine the two. I'm going to go and modify. Um, actually, no, we're going to go to Mesh and then Combine. I'm going to jump into my vertices here and then I'm going to grab all of those kind of um, middle ones that are sitting next to each other there. And I'm going to go to um, Mesh or Edit Mesh and we'll hit Merge. So I'm going to merge all those together. Um, I do think we'll want another one of these, so I'm going to hit Control D and then Control D again. And this time I'm going to hold down D and V, and snap all the way down to this bottom corner, hold in V, we'll bring that in here. And I'm going to delete the extra, extra little bit there. Um, Let's also maybe delete this bit too, because we don't want it to be too thick. We just want it to be thick enough to to go all the way down. So let's grab these. I'm going to hit mesh and then combine, and then just the same, straight across the middle. We hit edit mesh and then merge. I'm pretty sure they're the the right ones there. Maybe these ones too. And just for good luck, I'll do those ones as well. I'm going to hit Control D again. And take this up, hold in D and V, and then V to snap again, and I'm going to hit mesh and combine. Select all those vertices, I'm going to say edit mesh and merge. Now that should be, there's no reason why that shouldn't be enough to kind of fill that gap for us. So let's just move that over there because we'll come back to that a little bit later. So we're going to want to go horizontally for this. So I'm going to hold down X to snap to the center. I'm going to hold Control D. I'm going to go over here. And again, I'm going to move my pivot and then hold V, bring those together. I'm going to go edit mesh and up oh, mesh even. And combine. I'm going to drag select all of the different ones. We'll say edit mesh and we'll merge those together. Okay, I'm just going to put my pivot in the center here. I'm going to hold X over there. Frustratingly, we'll probably need another one. So let's go Control D. Go 
this together. I'm going to combine those again and then run a vertices selection and then we'll edit mesh and we'll merge those. And then awkwardly, I think we're just going to need one more. So I'm going to bring another one of these over for either side. So we'll go one more time here. I'm going to combine those together and then just do a quick merge of those ones. And then finally, one more, one last time. Exact same process. Select all of those, and then we'll edit mesh and we'll mesh those in. Okay, so we're happy with that, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to hit Control D, and I'm going to take that back again over there. Let's bring this into position here. So um, we're going to select all of the faces here, and I'm going to hit Control E to extrude. And let's get in nice and close. I'm going to turn keep faces together off. I'm going to extrude that in, something like that, so it's looking quite nice. And then maybe just push it back a little bit, just to give us a little bit of variation kind of on that front, a little bit of depth. I'm going to hold Control E again, and then we're going to push that in. I'm going to go nice and thick, because if it's nice and thick, it means that when you're rendering and you're turning the camera to the side, you're not necessarily going to see behind um, with anything else and then let me just double check because I'm pretty sure we can see just straight through this on all of the because on the Audi R8 that I did before um, some of them it was quite cool because some of them was um, see through some of them weren't but I think all of them are so once we've done that I'm just going to hit delete in order to get those get those out of the way there okay so I'm happy with that and this is going to sit nicely under here Okay, so before we do that, let's maybe start getting this area prepped. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select all of these faces here. Um, actually, let's not do that. Uh, let's maybe select all of the kind of outside edges. So I'm going to isolate the selection here. And I'm going to select all of the top, all those top bits. Um, so obviously this is going to match the kind of shape of everything. Before we do that, let's just make sure we're happy with the shape there. Um, I feel like this, we actually want this to be potentially more kind of rounded. Something a bit more like that rather than current. Let's bring these back in, we'll snap those in. So that curve's looking a lot, a lot neater in there. And then I'm just going to curve that off as well. Okay, so we're going to go again, we'll grab all of these. And here I'm going to hit Control E. I think we'll be okay just to pull on the blue there. Um, and then I'm just going to go on the world and maybe just pull it up a little bit. So I think that should be okay. I'm going to go and take these lower ones, but I'm only going to take these frontal ones. I'm going to hit Control E on these. I'm going to pull these in and then straighten them off. Just something like, like that. Gonna pull those in around like that. I'm gonna take these bottom ones now. I'm gonna hit Control E. I'll maybe just pull these on the blue. And then on the world, I'm maybe just gonna pull them down a little bit. Okay. 
let's target worlds. I'm going to go to that one there. And then what we'll do with these is we'll maybe just pull these. Pull these into a nice little bit of a curve that tapers off over here. Something like that, which looks quite nice. And then let's maybe just go here and we'll do the same for this edge. We're going to want to take this in a little bit and hit Control E. I'm going to do this on the world and pull it in on the X axis here. And then once I'm happy with that kind of position, I'll maybe pull it down. Just so that this line is running along that same kind of direction. And then we'll just target weld those ones back. Get a little bit closer here. I've got my edge slides. Just pull that back there. Just that's looking nice. Okay, then we've got this bit here, and it looks like what we want to do is we're going to want to add in, um, we're going to want to add in an extra kind of piece of geometry inside here. There's no way for us to see, I don't think, in our side view, kind of where this sits. I'm looking, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be about here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop in an edge loop there. I think it must be even further in actually. Maybe something more like that. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to grab the edges that are here. I'm going to hit Control E. Pull those down on the blue there. Let's go back X ray here. I'm not going to go down too much, maybe just a little bit. So something like that. Okay, um, let's just see for the bottom here. So I'm thinking that the mesh is going to sit basically at this angle um, inside there. So I'm going to go and I'm going to insert another edge loop. This time I'm going to do it down here and I'm going to try and get it to match. Maybe let's use what's already here. I'm going to want to straighten that off. I'm going to pull that out until it's... even straighter still. Oops. So it's maybe something like that. Maybe not quite that straight. There we go. So I'm going to go, I'm going to take what we've just taken from that and we'll go um, edit mesh and we'll extract it. And then here, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to grab these, I'm going to hit control E. I'm going to pull these up. But this time on the bottom, I think it's a little bit further. Maybe we'll see the best in the front view here. You can see that goes up, to maybe something like that. Um, inside there, it's actually quite quite large of a step. Um, let's grab these ones. And pull that up a little bit as well. like that. And I'm going to grab these faces here. just want to make sure I'm going to grab those. We're going to go mesh display. I'm going to reverse those because I think the normals are flipped. Um, I think they're flipped on these ones too. So we'll do the same again. Mesh display. We'll hit reverse on those. Okay, that's better. So then down here, we're going to want to take these and we're going to do the same. We're going to extract those. 
and I'm going to insert an edge loop roughly level with that and let's take the vertices from here I'm going to hold down V I'm going to snap it up here and before we do that actually we'll need to add a second loop on this so right in the corner there and we'll fix that in a couple so we'll just grab these first I'm going to hold down V and V again and it looks like that's going to be quite nice maybe what we will do for this is let's grab all of the lower vertices there Maybe just take those in a little bit just to kind of match the path that they're on. And I'm going to combine these together and then isolate the selection. And let's quickly just merge these. So I'm going to go edit mesh and merge. And I'll do the same down here. And then we're going to get rid of that because we don't want it. And also, I'm going to draw in. Um, Actually, no, let's not. I think we'll probably want to keep that this time. Um, because we can see inside there. We can see inside there, but I think we actually want this um, because this is going to be seen. Um, so let's maybe bring everything back in. We could maybe draw in. I'm going to draw in there and hit enter. And then get rid of that. Because I think what we're going to want to do with this is we are going to want to have, um, yeah, we are going to want to have all of that. Let's get rid of that edge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to target weld this point down here. Move that over there. Do something with like like that. I'm going to grab all of it, apart from these central ones. I'm going to hit Control E. I'm going to bring that in here. Just want to make sure nothing's flipped where it shouldn't be. So just bring that in something like that. Maybe bring it in quite a little bit. Maybe to about there. That should be fine. So we've got that extra kind of step and, and, and level of detail inside there. Um, so let's grab this and I think what I'll do is I'll maybe delete all of those okay now what I'm going to do real quick um, is just before we finish up is I'm going to grab all three of these and I'm going to say mesh and then combine because what that's going to do is that's going to get rid of all the, like the the history of the two objects together and now I'm going to say mesh and separate and what this will allow me to do is if I go to edit I'm going to go duplicate special I'm going to make an instance and on scale negative one, I'm going to just hit apply there. That means now that on here um, I've got an instance and it's going to edit and we do things around there, so that's going to be nice. And I'm just going to hit G on each of those. So now we've got all those instances together. In the next episode, we're going to start to start to smooth them a bit. But what that means now is we can bring this in here. I'm going to bring this in quite close to the front. Let's add some rotation to this as well. Okay, something like that, maybe not quite that much rotation. Um, I'm going to go to uh, Deform and Lattice. And for this lattice, let me increase the divisions. I think it's the U divisions. Nope the S divisions. I'm maybe going to boost those up to 8 and then grab these lattice points here. 
I'm going to grab the central ones because I want these to, to pull forward to sit towards the front. I'm going to grab these next ones here and do the same. I'm going to pull those forward as well, but not quite as far. Let's maybe reduce these ones. Ah, maybe because we've already gone, it's not going to let us go for it now. Um, I think what we want this, the top's fine, but I kind of want a bit more on the bottom to come forward. So maybe grab the most lowest lattice and bring that a bit more to the edge there. Gonna pull those to find a nice kind of mid-ground that looks quite nice. Looks like these lower ones here and here, I'm gonna to wanna to push back a little bit. So they took a little better in that corner. So we see that that's sitting and fitting in there really nicely. Um, maybe take these ones here and these ones. Pull those a little bit further forward. And you'll notice that I'm doing these um, uniformly as we go across there. And then when we're happy with that position, I think I'm happy with that, what we'll do is we'll click on the object. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to go to delete all by type of history just to get rid of that lattice for us. And then the last thing we would do in this case here, which I'll do in between episodes, is we're just going to run around, we're going to delete essentially everything that we don't need for these. We don't want to delete too close because remember we do want to make sure that we're not deleting anything inside there, but we'll go around and we'll delete all of those um, ready for the next episode. In the next episode what we will do is we'll start to smooth some of these things out um, so it all starts to look a little bit nicer. So we'll maybe start with the front splitter and onto the front bumper and then work our way down the rest of the car. So if you enjoyed this episode, guys, please hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.